Hello again, people. This is Jerry3904 on the MX Linux forum. Uh, I'm here to do a, a video on MX Fluxbox called Borderline Crazy. Uh, what it's about is I'm going to show you a way to create a sleek look for Fluxbox Windows. It's a look, a method built into Fluxbox itself. Uh, it's something that I don't see anyone talking about, and I thought it'd be useful to have a, have a chance to look at how we do it. Why is it important? Well, because Fluxbox windows, after 20 years, can look pretty dated, even if you use the Fluxbox styles. And then also, if you do, as, as we do in MX Fluxbox, if you bring in applications from different sources, like some of the XFCE uh, applications we use, you can end up with a very mixed uh, window ornament situation. Fluxbox has an ability to override, I think, almost all windows, no matter where they come from. It produces a very streamlined and fun look that remains under your control because it's all in flat files. As you see, it's very simple. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to be removing, I'm using my, my uh, personal laptop. This is a uh, Lenovo ThinkPad, a, uh, X1 Carbon, uh, fifth generation, and I like it. It's probably the best laptop I've ever had, but I run Fluxbox on it because it's very quick and it's very straightforward for me. So I'm using one of the uh, uh, using the spring uh, wallpaper here, and I've I've hidden the dock over on the right, um, and this is a, a this is a down at the bottom. That's a tint to uh, toolbar that I'm working on, um, and so uh, we're going to uh, we're going to be removing the title bar on the windows. And to do that, we're gonna, we want to make sure that we, we are able to, um, to cover all the functions that are available in that title bar. So, um, for instance, I'm going to be using, uh, well, even if I just haul up, uh, call up Thunar, you can see I can move it, I can get a menu, uh, I can... I can um, minimize there are a whole bunch of functions built around that title bar and so if I'm going to remove the title bar I want to make sure I still have those functions so let's look at the keys file the fluxbox keys file uh, settings configure keys um, where you will remember where all sorts of key combinations are set up for you but you can go ahead and uh, change them as you want and so there's some things to remember. If we wanted to close this window without using that X, we could simply go Alt F4, and Alt F4 would close the window. If we wanted to minimize the window, we could go Alt F9. Um, I won't do these things, but Alt F4 to close, Alt F9 to minimize. To resize the window, right, which we can do if we've got it, to resize the window, we can do Alt and then just press and hold the right mouse key. And you can resize it any way you want to. And if we want to move it, we can go Alt and left key and then just move it anywhere we want, Alt and left key. So there's one more thing, I showed it to you here, but if I go back up here and I click on this, this is the window menu. And there's some things on there, some items that are pretty handy. Uh, especially, I, I use remember a lot to tell Fluxbox to, re, to keep the dimensions and the position constant. Uh, there's other options in there. And I don't want to lose those options. So I'm going to uh, change the keys file so that I can get to that window menu without having to use the, if I don't have a title bar. So it's called options. So I'm going to just uh, control find options. Sorry, I got to print control find options. Return. And there's what I'm interested in looking at. Um, I'm going to want to um, change this so that we can do that because we're not going to have a title bar to get that menu. So first, just to make it clear, I'm going to take out that. Right click for a menu of options. And we're not going to be having a title bar, so I don't want to confuse things. So I'm going to comment out that one. 
and I'm going to add a new one and I'm going to say on window mouse I don't want to use three because we use it for other things so I'm going to say mouse two the click uh, when we click the scroll button space colon and I want the window menu Okay, so on, on window, not on title bar, using the middle click and bring up the window menu. So let's save that. And then I have to refresh the desktop. And let's see if it works. Um, if I middle click it, do I, there it goes. I middle clicked with, it with my middle click and I got my window menu. So now I won't have to have a title bar and I can go ahead and get it. So those are all the changes that we need just so we can begin to, to do without the title bar and we'll move on to actually getting to work. Okay, now that we've done all that prep work, let's go ahead and get to work. Um, there is a document, an older document called the fluxboxwiki.org. And in that, um, that's where I found ab about this. In that, there is kind of hidden, there's a section on how to make Windows only show a border. And so we're going to go, go ahead and do that. We need to edit the init file, and we need to change the value from normal to border for this line. So um, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go settings, configure, init. I got to find, can find normal. There it is. And I'm going to change that to border and save it. Okay, now I'll leave this open so that we can see that if I now uh, refresh, because I've changed that, if I refresh this, then we can see that all of a sudden that there is no title bar on top. There is a little thin border. It looks pretty nice, but there's no title bar on top. We can use our keystrokes that we laid out in our prep session to do things that we want to. We can move it by alt left click, for instance, or we can resize it with alt right click or something. So we know we have that command as we want to. So that's kind of neat. Let's take a, a let's take a look at another app, for instance, Tunar itself. Um, I'll left click. Here's Tunar. No title bar. Um, kind of looks very nice with that sleek little white uh, little white Alt F four to close. So I'm going to close this with my Alt F four and look at the other part that is in the Fluxbox Wiki. We can now change, um, you can change the width and the color of the border. You can change the width and the color of the border. So we need to open the overlay file and enter these three lines. And I will get this out of my face here. And I'll now go to the overlay file, settings, configure, overlay. And actually, you'll see to save some time, I already entered them. Use when window is showing only border. And uh, I put in some numbers. I'll take those out in a second. But um, let me uncomment them so that they're enabled, these three. And I'll pick an ordinary border um, with, let's say, a nice little discrete border. And I'll leave these, or we're going to leave it orange because I like orange a lot. And we'll say when it's not focused, it's going to be green, okay? So we've changed this overlay file, which will govern all the windows that we open. So now I'm going to save this. Overlay is saved. I'm going to refresh. Refresh the, there we go, refresh. And ta-da, we now have, uh, let me change this bring this up a little, left click, right click. We now have a nice orange border around this because it's focused. If it weren't focused, if I bring Tunar up again, now it is has the focus, so it's orange, and the one out of focus has green. You can do whatever you want for colors, but this is, um, this is what I was doing. So I will change that. See, it might be fun. You might be, be feeling really experimental. Let's see, I'm gonna go a fat border. How about 10? So control S, a nice fat border. Refresh it. 
and now we have a 10 a 10 width border looks kind of neat i don't know if i'd use it all the time but you get the idea that we have we have all sorts of control um, as a user over what we do uh, you can use any width and any color and it makes for kind of a neat effect so that's it uh, i should say that when this is done changing theme which we under appearance theme normally will change all sorts of things but overlay is overruling and so if you the theme changing i don't believe that'll have any effect at all okay alt f4 that's it thanks for watching play around let me know what you think